Y bueno gente, bienvenidos a un nuevo video y un capítulo más de la campaña de Life is Strange Before the Storm. Y ahora sí, con el temor a que solo este capítulo avancemos menos de 5 minutos de lo que le queda a este episodio, capítulo, no sé cómo, ahorita no me chequé cómo maneja aquí Life is Strange. Este, pues obviamente si se acaba, digamos que relativamente rápido el capítulo, voy a optar por obviamente inmediatamente continuar este con el siguiente así o sea ahorita van a ver si llega a pasar eso ahorita ven y de nuevo decirles que eh, igual que en el capítulo de ayer les les pido que pongan acá abajo en los comentarios si quieren que sigamos con la campaña de Wolfenstein 2 o que iniciemos o que le demos un break y suba y otra campaña al canal y obviamente pueden poner acá abajo recomendaciones para que yo de esas vea cuáles puedo poner. Y ya si sirve de que subimos, esa puede ser una de las opciones que les dé para que ustedes voten en un video posterior. Así que bueno gente, pues vamos a continuar con esta campaña. Espero que no, no sean solo 5 minutos y ya, pero bueno, a ver qué pasa. Porque al parecer Rachel, sí, ahí sigue Rachel. Ahí no estaba la esta tipa con el otro señor. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad... He carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's... intense and new and awesome and... 
You had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. <laughs> Eso sí. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Se está propagando el fuego. Siento que este tío algún día, bueno, en algún momento de la historia, me va a reclamar lo, el dinero que le debe Chloe. Estoy casi 100% seguro.
foto de Rachel, ¿no? Esa no creo que haya salido en Life is Strange 1, porque su tatuaje se me hace conocido. Pero según yo no creo que haya este, salido en el en el primer capítulo. Bueno, y dado que todavía le quedan 20 minutos a esto, gente. Despierta, corazón mío. Termina el episodio 1, despertar. Ok, voy a... Bueno, no me va a dejar el juego. Y la neta no le quiero, no me quiero salir este, por si queda alguna, si sale una imagen post créditos o algo por el estilo. Así que pues, oh, es que no quiero que se tome tiempo del video. Porque sí duró unos 10 minutos y el capítulo de ayer hubiera estado de 45 minutos y la neta no. No me gusta subir videos tan largos al canal. Por lo que hasta ahorita, pues no sé. Es que no le puedo adelantar. A ver, vamos a darle salir. Ok, despertar. El, el 67% de la gente este, lo, lo atacó y yo corrí, que fue el 33%. Fuiste mezquina con Joyce, el 34, 36%. Fuiste afectiva con Joyce. Defendiste a Nathan. Uh, te mantuviste fuera de la pelea. Le dijiste a Rachel que son más que amigas. Y le dijiste a Rachel que son amigas. Ok, me sorprende que la... Bueno, un poco me sorprende que la mayoría le haya dicho que son más que amigas. Pero pues, o sea, uno... Obviamente, este juego sabe a lo, a lo que va, ¿no? O sea, los, les repito, los que ya hayan jugado el primero, pues saben qué onda. Y pues a lo mejor por eso la mayoría escogió eso. Así que... ¿Qué es eso? Filtro de amigos. Ah. Filtro de amigos supongo que son este... Ah, ok. No tomaste el dinero. Le compartiste hierba. No le compraste hierba a Frank. Leíste el libro de autoayuda de Joyce. No pusiste la foto de William en la cómoda. No pusiste el dinero en la bolsa de... No, no pusiste dinero en la bolsa de Joyce. O sea, ¿cómo que no puse dinero? Ah, ya entendí. Le dijiste a Helio que irías a la obra con él. Puta, ahí. Dije, quizás. O sea, ahí decía, quizás no, este, que, que sí iba a ir. Pero bueno. ¿Escuchaste el demo de Skip? ¿El demo de Skip? No escuchaste el demo de Skip. ¿Y cómo lo voy a escuchar? Ok, ah, supongo que me tenía que acercar a él. Bueno, este, terminaste el juego de mesa con Steve y Mikey, el 75%. No saboteaste la tarea de Victoria. Le dijiste a Rachel que enamorarse es estúpido. Mm, compartiste los audífonos con Rachel y saltaste del tren, 95%. Y pues estas serían todos las este las decisiones que tomaron durante. Estas obviamente son las importantes. Estas no siento que tanto, pero pues estas son las más importantes del juego. Shit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money. Próximo episodio disponible en 7. Ok, dejemos lo que se ponga. Un mundo feliz. Pero no sé por qué decía que quiere su... Ah, supongo que es este... El, al güey a que le debo dinero, ¿no? De la droga. Sí, porque dije... Pues a quién le debo el dinero, pues solo a ese tío, porque al otro no le, no le quité el dinero. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! 
Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Fuck, es una pregunta retórica que no la cague. No. Let me refresh your memory. Mierda. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to become ah, a citizen. Ah, yo pensé que iba a decir lo de las drogas. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Confirmation of drug use. What? Qual? Allegedly. I didn't see any witnesses. This is not a trial, Miss Price. This is a sentencing. Shall I continue? Cuando tienes la prueba de que estaba consumiendo drogas, no seas pinche mentiroso. Involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. Lo I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. 
You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally, totally not, not true. true. She really <laughs> is an amazing actress. Le está haciendo un super paro. Surprise. Pinches mentiras. El, el, la traducción está buena, eh? pinches mentiras. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Provocarla. No, disfruta el espectáculo. No right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Fuck. Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Estar de acuerdo con Rachel, asumir la culpa, puta. Ah, podemos asumir la culpa. O podemos estar de acuerdo con Rachel La cosa es que obviamente Puse una pausa porque tengo que pensarlo Si asumo la culpa Pues obviamente quedo a ser como Mentirosa esta La Rachel y posiblemente Este Me traiga problemas Con ella o con el director Vamos a asumir la culpa No vamos a dejar que ella se quede con la culpa para ganar en un desafío de réplicas, escucha a tu oponente y elige las respuestas. No ok. 
is Rachel missing the play for me? But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has Fuck. accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Okay. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. Ugh. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. But I don't expel, sir. Now? You are so I will. Yes, sir, yeah. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Fuck. Y bueno, gente, vamos a dejar hasta aquí el capítulo del día de hoy. Ya sé que todavía le quedan unos dos minutos, pero siento que está bien que la cortemos aquí por el día de hoy. Así que bueno, gente, ya saben, de nuevo les recuerdo. Pónganme acá abajo en los comentarios si quieren que sigamos con Wolfenstein 2 o pónganme algunas recomendaciones para que después yo elija y les haga un video y ustedes puedan votar, ya saben, ¿no? Así que bueno, gente, espero que os haya gustado el capítulo del día de hoy. Hoy tuvimos el final del del capítulo episodio despertar y estamos ahorita con el capítulo episodio 2 como sea no, no, no me puse a leer ahorita bien así que bueno pues eso ya lo continuaremos el día de mañana pero bueno gente ya saben de nuevo like si les gustó, dislike si no les gustó y obviamente yo espero verlos el día de mañana en otro capítulo más de la campaña de Life is Strange así que bueno gente nos vemos